What's up and welcome to The Rundown. It is Tuesday, June 4th. Day after my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, belated to yep. your mom. Thank you. Uh, we're here with Jack Mac, Jack McGuire, here with Robbie Fox. Yep. And as always, we are brought to you by- And Billy Factor. Football. Yes, me, Bill. Warmer, sunnier days are calling. Fuel up for them with Factor's no prep, no mess meals. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat. Keto, wait, keto or keto? What, what, did you say keto? Oh, hey, That's man. crazy. Right, right. He meant keto. 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 You should know that. I know, dude. I, and I feel like I you think keto and corrected one Billy Football on keto. I know, that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. Ketosis. No, it's yeah. still a thing. Yeah, no. I mean, Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, you'll always have new flavors to explore. Crush your wellness goals this May with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Make your day delicious. From breakfast to desserts, stay fueled with easy nutrition options. Enjoy effortless support for your lifestyle. Choose from six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat well balanced. Head to factormeals.com slash rundown50 and use code rundown50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code rundown50 at factormeals.com slash rundown50. Get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. Great deal, great deal, great ad. I'm, I'm, After I'm the keto be, thing. I'm gonna be head, hitting up, getting those, because I need those. Factor, you just great. did a cardio workout reading that. Am I that right? Was, yeah. Am I right? Hey. No, well, you didn't really take a breath there, I, I, which was good, it was a great ad read. You just gotta rip it, just gotta rip it. Shout out so, Factor, as always. Yep. Shout out Factor, thank you Factor. So, we got some MMA guys uh, in the chairs today. Conor McGregor press, press conference canceled, UFC 303. I think this, do you think this is a head play? You think he's actually getting fucked up too much or? Uh... No, no, he said he's sober before the fight. 10 weeks out before the fight, he went completely sober. He's not on any of his He was sniffing the, the stout. He smells his products, his alcohol, mm. you know, the, the forged Irish stout, the proper 12. This is weird, obviously. They were supposed to have uh, this huge press conference, the sold out three arena in Dublin. McGregor hasn't done a press conference in Dublin in years. 13,000 fans slated to attend. They cancel it at midnight Eastern time the night before. So yeah. it was at 5 a.m. the day it was supposed to happen in Ireland. And there was media members out there already. Yes, Dana yeah. White production flew crew. to Ireland. We still, I guess, don't know if Dana White flew there. Gotcha. But we've he heard now that Michael Chandler found out right before he's supposed to get on the plane. So he never flew out there. But Dana was supposed to fly from the, in the press conference yep, yeah. straight to this. It seems like a cause con for concern. I'm going to tell you right now, Billy, it's not. McGregor came out, he said, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see uh, my fans, whatever. I'm sorry to those that planned on traveling. He said he's gonna fight June 29th. He's gonna fight June 29th. He said he's probably gonna fight eight times this year. I think that's probably accurate. Um, everything's fine, everything's okay. I will, I will say there is some bad things happening behind the scenes. Uh, ESPN Plus, you can't buy the pay-per-view anymore. Probably a glitch. Pre-order, you cannot, uh, and then also, the UFC, before a pay-per-view, they'll put up free fights of past uh, yeah. fighters' fights. So, But Conor McGregor's fights have been taken down off of YouTube. Maybe copyright. Yeah, that is true. You never know. Music happens to Barstool all the time. I have another take. <laughs> okay. Get it off. I think that he couldn't do the live presser in Dublin because I think he's in trouble with the local gangs there. I think he didn't want to show his face. I think there's a hit out on him. I think that he was, had a security concern. Look, from the sounds of it, we know there's some gangland activity involved with Connor. There may be a reason why he doesn't want to all show All alleged, all, all alleged, rumors. All alleged, all legend, all rumors, but, you know. But he was out partying in Ireland the also, weekend before. Also, I was yeah. kind of under the impression that if there, allegedly, if there were ever a gang against McGregor, allegedly there could also be a gang for McGregor. Right. But let's say he isn't valid in Dublin anymore because he wore out his welcome with some of the guys. It, this could be something as small as a logistical issue in the arena, though, Billy. This could be, oh, we couldn't, 
account for the amount of fans and the amount of love that McGregor's getting. We couldn't getting. provide the security to make sure McGregor doesn't get shot because he owes someone don't, money. Don't even put that out there in the universe, that yeah. devil energy. That, hey, that's crazy. Hey, I, I'm just, I'm just I don't saying. think he owes anyone money with the well, amount of money he's got. Oh, but, you know, everyone's got debts no honest man can pay. I don't think McGregor does, bro. I, I'm just saying. I mean, look, most, like, individuals who make it out of certain situations, they sometimes get in the most trouble by their own, in their own home cities. And, home. and he has gotten into trouble before, but we're past that. This is... We're on to the greatest comeback in sports history. We're like right? 24 days away. Right. I'm just, you know, this is just a theory. Here's a theory. And Some I like stuff. throwing theories out there. We're throwing theories People around. People are throwing theories. People are saying maybe a leg injury. Maybe he, does, he can't walk on stage without showing a limp, so he can't do the press conference. People are saying maybe he's holding the UFC up. Maybe he had a family emergency. Could have been a family emergency on anyone's point, part, point of view. I he think posted it's on fine. Instagram today and said... He said, thank God. For my family. Thank, thank you, God, or something. For my family. For my family. Oh. There's a picture of him, his wife, and who he was dancing with recently. We've heard no cancellation yet. So as of right now, I'm going to say the fight's happening. June 29th. We'll be there. It's going to be great. He's going to knock Chandler out in one. And then he'll fight seven more times in the next calendar year. Where's the uh, fight? Vegas. Nice. Oh, he was retweeting week. the Aldo buildup last night. That's pretty good. Look at that. He's, he's excited. He's hungry. He wants to get back in the cage. You know what he wants probably even more than getting back in the cage is getting back on that proper 12 and forged Irish stout. So you got to get the fight over with. The, the you know what's interesting? He retweeted that. I'm just realizing that. I was retweeting that clip last night. I wonder if he saw it on, on his feed because of me. I did see you retweet it last night, so that I, I do back that up. Interesting. And that was a quote tweet of the what's the biggest I'm him moment, and it was just a four-minute lead-up of Al McGregor, which is one of the greatest lead-ups in fight history. I mean, his, I watched that, and I, I chills. That's one I mean, of those you're like, ready to cry really again. Uh, yeah. The visualization stuff, like, that made me actually start practicing visualization. That short left hook? Like, just visualize it, think about it a thousand times, like, manifest it, yeah. like, yeah, no, no, he even does. even outside of that, just, like, the build-up of, like, like he hit some of the coldest bars ever in, in Brazil. Like, Best. in the olden times, I would have come into your favela on yeah. horseback, but now I'm just, yeah, he took his belt and everything, I mean. Jeez. Angel Reese says, interest in the WNBA is up because of Me Too. The reason we are watching women's basketball is not because of one person, it's because of Me Too. Quotes come after Angel Reese was fined $1,000 for refusing to speak to the media after Chicago Sky's loss to the Indiana Fever on Saturday afternoon, where Angel Reese was seen cheering on a cheap shot taken against Caitlin Clark. Uh, Caitlin Clark games average over 10,000 more fans per game than non-Caitlin Clark games. That's a crazy stat. That, I mean... But I will say for those other games, they are they still are getting like seven to 8,000 people. Seven to 8,000 people in the arena is pretty it's good. a huge crowd. That's a huge crowd. Yeah. Is that up from last season? Yeah, I mean, it's I been up so. like uh, consistently. Uh, but also, people don't, well, every everything's up. Concerts are up. But yeah, the M uh, WNBA, um, the home season attendance is up. Um, but obviously, the fever is everything. Um, I'm so sick of... I didn't realize she didn't speak to the media um, uh, after the game. Like, you can't be this big bad wolf, and then when you lose to Caitlin Clark again, which they did, not go and talk to the media. It's just, uh, just kind of like, eh. The way like, she celebrated on the sideline, too, like, gave her teammate, like, a huge hug, like, let's go, oh. you fucking threw her on the ground. And it wasn't... And you talk to the media. And there, but also, a $1,000 fine seems like a lot for WNBA. Yeah. For Angel uh, Reese, though, she, she has a lot of money. I'm sure she has a lot of money, but for what the WNBA actually pays her, what's what's salary? Her salary? Probably 65, because she was drafted eighth. Like, that's a fucking decent percentage of her paycheck. No, the whole season that they Damn. took away. No, that's that was my first thought, and I know she's making way more beyond that with endorsements and stuff like that. But I was like, oh shit, you got to make the fine hurt. Yeah, yeah. And also, the WNBA been. probably has a bit of a like you can't fine her like. <laughs> $125, because that would be... It'd yeah, be a meme. It'd true, be a meme. true. Like, you'd almost, it'd like... Point now. Like, it would yeah. be it would be a legitimate meme. Like, yeah. you couldn't find her $700. That's a good point. <laughs> like, if it was $125... <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. You'd be like, oh, what? Well. Honestly, this is a decent skit idea, is the guy that has to come up with that fine. Yeah. He's like, we can't offend him, 
But we we need to find them like a decent amount to make sure that. And then it's a, all right, all right. Yeah. We'll do four figures, a thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, but they're like, we can't go beyond that because then they'll be broke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's got to talk to the media. If you're going to be, and they're the heels right now, feels like they're like openly kind of being the bad guys. Everyone like uh, pushing Caitlin Clark to the ground, hugging when they, you know, reunite on the bench. If you're going to be the heel, you got to talk to the media. Dude, Caitlin Clark is beat to shit, though. Have you seen these what? photos? <laughs> what? what? No, no. Oh, what? It. No, look at <laughs> That look, was crazy. Like that? That? No, no. That was, that was the, I looked over there. What? When he said it, I looked over at the producers no, no, over she, here. She, that she, was she, 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 right she, right she, I, I think what you're up. saying is She didn't get into a five-round fight. Yeah, she looked like she got beat up. There's a picture of her with, like, tons of bruises. It's like. Well, I mean, she's a physical player. Let me see this picture. Billy she's a three-point shooter. No, that is that's fake news. She plays. I don't believe there's a picture of Caitlin Clark like with a black eye out there. No, I mean it's just she looks banged up, and I'm like, what the fuck? Beat the shit is. <laughs> she crazy. is beat to shit, Billy. Said. I do want to say I'm, though. I'm saying she's getting beat up. It's fucked up. Angel Reese. No, it seems fucked up. Like, do you think like has Angel Reese? I've seen the two plays to be fair. They're straight up teeing off on her legally and illegally. Like they need to get an enforcer for. Her. Um. Caitlin Clark, our injuries is right. People do watch her games too, and like she is a big part of this whole movement. Definitely. People also like WNBA viewership was slowly rising before um, Caitlin Clark. Like it's like kind of like there those players do have some of a hey we've been building this, but Caitlin's pretty clear in saying like respecting the elders and, and saying thank you for all of that, and like I'm here to help too. The only thing when Angela Reese says people come and watch me too, I mean she like no one. Not a lot of people tune in for post play. Um, she she does post play and, and uh, you could point to Shaq. She also doesn't uh, obviously she doesn't dunk. Post play is not that like it's kind of boring. It's like almost grappling of 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 UFC MMA. It's like it's not bad. You really have to be a purist to really yeah, like cool. like it. I mean, also sh like from my point of view, her beef with Caitlin Clark in the playoffs two years ago was like. What started everyone knowing who Angel? Well, that's what she. That's what you said. For me, it sort of started that's knowing Caitlin Clark. To be yeah. fair, she I said feel like that the rivalry game was a big thing. Yeah. She said that was her point. Was that that game is when everything changed? Agreed. And her point is like she, her doing this and then starting essentially like a race war online <laughs> was huge. But it was huge. Then they no had this them. big rivalry. They played it in the tournament this year. And I will say, I mean, she is like. It's it's big and I mean she's huge. She's massive on social media. She's uh yeah. she's a big deal. So I mean uh and my biggest thing is like Caitlin's not cocky and going on the press conferences and saying, Hey, I'm the reason everyone's here. She's like, Stop beating me up. Please. Yeah, please. <laughs> and then but she had a tough game on Sunday, but Sabrina one for ten or something. Yeah, so, yeah. Ionesco, I think her name yeah. is. Yeah. She was like, Well, she had like the most normal no, she went to Oregon. Okay. She had, like, the most normal response ever. They asked her, like, what do you think about this? Like, is the hype too much? She's like, it was a back-to-back -back game. Like, it's tough when you're, or, like, like yeah. young in the league. Like, you're going to have Coming bad games like that. Season two. Yeah, and then she, and she was like, it doesn't really matter. So it won't affect her. Like, the most normal answer ever. It is cool. The thing I thought was cool about the WNBA is how quickly you're watching the people play in the WNBA right after you watch them in college. They get drafted and two seconds later they're on the court. I will say it feels like <laughs> Caitlin Clark has played every night for the past <laughs> three weeks. Yeah. Cameron Brink every single night. Every like, night. Look what Cameron Brink wore to the arena tonight. <laughs> every single night. I don't know how she but, uh, for, for the WNBA, I hope they're embracing this whole Chennedy Carter situation. Oh, yeah. Because it they, it is electric like in terms of like there's memes everywhere. People are talking about it. Now, I understand kind of the aspect of, oh, this isn't necessarily what we want, but you don't necessarily get to pick what goes viral. No, and now we have like multiple rivalries in the WNBA. We weren't talking about this last year. No. Has the WNBA filled the post-basketball pre-football? Well, have they hit that market? The only A little bit, more little, than they ever have. The only issue there is their finals are like during the football season. Yeah, that is tough. It's tough. They, is, is it is it like October ish, like right beginning of? Yeah, like September, yeah. October. But they'll have WNBA finals games on Sunday afternoons. It's just a. It's That's, really bad. Yeah, when football comes back, people are gonna forget. 
But if Kalen's playing, and it's like a Tuesday night, but she's, her team's not that good. I was going to say, if Caitlin's playing and it's a Sunday night, like I don't think people are watching Caitlin. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. What I was yeah. saying, Tuesday night. Gotcha. Like a Tuesday yeah. night, maybe even Saturday night, If but obviously there's college football. You could do Friday nights. Hmm. Oh, this guy's an idiot. Yeah. MLB banned San Diego's Padres. Okay, let's try this one. Tuca Pita. Marcano. Yep. Life for gambling on baseball. Uh, MLB discovered that Marcano placed 231 MLB-related bets, including 25 on Pittsburgh Pirates, while he was playing for the team. He was on the injured list at the time. Marcano bet over $150,000 on baseball and reportedly won only 4.3% of his bets. An additional four players have been suspended for unrelated sports betting violations for the remainder of the season. Michael Kelly, Jay Groom, Jose Rodriguez, and Andrew Salfrank. Um... I'd love to know how much this what? guy made. This guy, I mean, if he only won 4.3%. No, 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 not bets. on his bets. I mean, uh, salary-wise, MLB. Because yeah. he played for a little bit. 150 grand seems like it would be chump change to an MLB player. No, yeah. not this guy. Not this this guy, guy probably made like okay. yeah. It's not. Annual Seven. salary of 700. And go to his, go to it and press that. And then it will show career earnings on that site. One million, one point six million. All right, that's so not, not a, jump change at all. That's not enough not to lose one hundred fifty. Yeah. But that was like how much he bet overall. But if he only won four percent, I think a lot of them were parlays. I would love to see a Those breakdown. Frank the Tank winning numbers. It's like just lose it and lose it and four lose it and lose three? it. But yeah, he's such an idiot. Like how? If you if you're in the MLB, you can bet on other sports, right? Or no? If you're in the MLB, can you bet on football? Well, that 150k was specifically on baseball. I know, and that's my point. Like, I understand loving gambling and having that be a pastime, a hobby, whatever. But if you're in the MLB, how can you not just be like, "No, I'm done." So you can MLB rules personnel are allowed to partake in sports gambling, provided that it is legal in their jurisdiction and they do not bet on diamond sports. Baseball or baseball softball? softball. So, you can't so, bet on softball. It's weird that you can't bet on softball. That's strange. <laughs> that, that's that doesn't actually, really make any softball sense. Softball. No, the, the MLB said. You cannot bet <laughs> like, on softball. We better not catch you betting on college softball. Imagine, <laughs> like a Duke, you know who probably did? Uh, Ipe, the Shohei's <laughs> manager. He yeah. probably bet on college World Series but, uh, softball. But it's like, how can you not just, softball, right? how can you not be yeah. like, I'm betting on basketball, I'm betting on WNBA, I'm bet like, how can you not scratch that itch elsewhere? Because you, you got insight on baseball. But that's why you're not allowed. Like that's like that's why I bet. Like that's the whole thing. That's like, hey, why can't you like inside trade? It's like because you have inside intel. True, <laughs> true. Speaking of inside trading, E Trade is reportedly considering kicking Roaring Kitty off their platform. So if you don't know who Roaring Kitty is, he's a meme stock leader. His name is Keith Gill, aka Roaring Kitty, and uh, aka Deep Fucking Value. Yeah, Deep Fucking <laughs> Value. So. Uh, he returned to Reddit recently, posting for the first time in three years. Uh, he revealed that he had 65 million worth of GameStop calls and 115 million of shares, making his total position $200 million in GameStop stock alone. So after his post, the GameStop shares doubled once again, and E-Trade is now concerned that what he's been doing and posting and hyping up the stock and showing his positions is potentially stock market manipulation. So, I mean, I don't think we've had a Supreme Court case on this one, but seeing what people in Congress do, I think this is like nothing. There was a case of some sort with this guy, because I watched the movie, Dumb Money. Yeah. Good movie, actually. I enjoyed it. Dave is in it. I, they just used clips from Dave's interview with that Robin Hood guy that shut everything down. Um, at the end of the movie, he has to, like, via Zoom, appear before court. Mm -hmm. Also, at the end of the movie, something I'm con confused about, they make a big point of, like, we don't know whether or not he sold his GameStop or how much he made from the initial investment or whatever. This big thing, the reveal was that he never sold or that he just kept a bunch. Maybe he sold some. I well, he never sold, right? He never sold. And then also, I believe the lawsuit was, like, class action lawsuit that was essentially people accusing him of like not forcing them but like influencing them too much um 
to buy a stock, like in GameStop, uh, to promote GameStop to unwinning it. Uh, I did that. Oh, he was like, they were essentially like maybe even accusing him of like him and GameStop working together and then that he was intentionally uh, promoting it to unwitting investors. Does this help GameStop as a company or because it's like weird stock manipulation are they kind of like, are they just along for the ride? Like, I, I think theoretically it would help. It would also really help. Theoretically, of course. Yeah, I don't know 100%. No, so let's check out GameStop's earnings. Because, like, let's remember. Yeah, nobody's saying, like, I want to go to GameStop now, right? Unless you yourself no. are invested in this. Their earnings are not related to this at all. Like, it's like... Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's complete, like... But earnings oftentimes don't, like... that. The three of us talking about stock right now, it feels like the picture of the three kids, like, sitting around the table. And then, like... Yeah, but talking about it, you know. But stock, like, like the issue with this, him getting banned on E-Trade for stock market manipulation is there's a lot of stocks that they aren't backed up by their earnings. It's very weird. And then also there's a lot of people that go on CNBC, Bloomberg, uh, Fox News Business and say, hey, like I run this fund, I'm invested in this. It's a really good pick. And then that, of course, makes their fund more money because, so, I mean, it's all... It's kind of nonsense, but that's that's essentially where. I mean, there's no outlook for how the company is going to develop, increase revenue, like become profitable in the future. Because all those companies that don't bring in actual revenue, like there's this idea of speculation, like one day it's going to turn profit. Like I don't even think Uber turns profit. They're just waiting for like robo cars to come into play where they don't have to pay drivers. There's a lot of companies that don't make yeah. any profit. They're all just like Isn't seed Amazon capital that for a long time. For a long time, but. Essentially, they're saying, like, once the business works, it will make It'll money work. and then yeah. we'll all make our, yeah. our investments back and then 10 times. Yeah, that's this. So, like, GameStop is like, our, you know, brick and mortar store. Like, how are they going to switch it up? But yeah, especially when, like, gaming is going way, way, way to the download. Yeah. Way away from physical media. Yeah. That's weird. But the movie is pretty good. I would watch yeah. uh, Dumb Money if you haven't seen it because especially Dave is in it. And I, they didn't get Dave's permission, which is strange too. Like Dave just see. saw the movie and was like, I guess I'm in that movie. And he tweeted like, would I legally be able to sue them? I don't want to because I think it's cool, but would I be able to sue Oh, them? you know what? Was, he, was per, he was on like Fox or NS, MMS. Yeah, MSN. No, it was his own live stream. Because it oh, was when, remember he brought on that guy Vlad that everyone hated? Yeah. He shut down Robin Hood. He shut Hood. down Robin Hood's ability to trade so GameStop. They, they took that interview and they took Vlad's side and Sebastian Stan plays him in the movie so they have like an actor playing his side but Dave's interview is just the way it, exactly he interviewed Dave and there's like two clips of it in the movie. Yeah, and we yeah, have to finished. like make sure that we get like Sorry. rights to specific <laughs> yeah. videos or the whole company will come tumbling to the ground. Yeah. yeah. Talk uh, about just oh, nonsense. You wanted to talk about China. Yeah. China You're pissed about moon. China, right? What the fuck? What, well, I've been bizarre. pissed about China for a minute. So China landed on the moon. Tell us about it. They, 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 look, the United States, we went to the moon. We, we approached we? from the front. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, we said, hey, we're going to the light side of the moon. You know, can we land? China just, like, went in the dark and went round the back and just entered the they moon. They used the back door. They used the, like, you know, that's no way to treat the, the moon. The dark side of the moon, Pink that, Floyd style. Yeah, that's no way to treat the moon. Like, we put our flag there. Technically, the moon's ours. Like, they're just backdooring our moon. Just, so we had no idea they were going, or you had no idea they were going? We probably knew they were going, but it's kind of bullshit. I mean, like, the moon's ours. Like, why, why yeah. are they fucking around on the moon? We, so people have been there since us, though, right? Other countries? No. Nobody? I this is the anyone, first time anyone stepped foot on the moon? There's no people. It's just probes. They're just gotcha. probing. So they're just probing the moon, like, you know, without asking our consent. And probing the dark side. The moons too. are, yeah. Probing the dark side. If you're going to do it, back. do it in the light. Yeah. I mean. Do it so we could all see. Yeah. The U.S. is the only people to put people on the moon. And so You know, I like, probably should have known that. I thought maybe at some point Russia would have been like, hey, we lost the race, but at least we'll get through the finish line one day, never. We need to start, you know, hyping up. Russia didn't have the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood film yeah, studios. Well, who, who, who would they say did it? Kubrick? I, Stanley Kubrick? Yeah. I've right. been looking That's at some room. sites in Flagstaff, Arizona that have some background that looks a lot like the moon. Really? Yeah. 
I've, I've been you know, at it. this would be an interesting audio crack uh, endeavor. What if we tried to recreate the moon landing footage with Billy Football in the astronaut suit? Get it as as exact as the original and see if in we can. In Flagstaff, take it. because the thing is, there's a mountain ridge in Arizona, and the terrain looks a lot like the moon, and that's where they practice the moon landing. Mm. I could actually see us, like the footage being fake, but we actually. There's went. a lot of things going. Uh. Yeah, there's think, a lot of things going on. You think going. there's a chance we went but couldn't get that footage, so we had to recreate yeah. the footage. Or we. We went somehow had theory. the best cameras of all time. That's kind back of a then. fun theory. We went went around the moon, didn't actually land, and then just went back to Earth. We entered the moon's orbit, but we did not get on the ground. Mm. And the footage is all Hollywood stuff. All from Flagstaff, Arizona. Gotcha. It wouldn't be Arizona, it would have been a set. Yeah, it would have been a set, maybe in Arizona. Could have been anywhere. I mean, 2001 yeah. came out in 1968, a year before we went on the moon. Was that on a set? That and was it all looks set. amazing. So that's it why they alleged it was good. Kubrick, yeah. and then in 1975, he wanted to shoot a movie all by candlelight, and he needed a very special lens. Who to get the lens from? NASA. NASA. Because oh shit! So they say that that's he was already friends with NASA from Re making movies. Yeah, but NASA. X Files. Real movie quick, here. NASA, one of the greatest. The, <laughs> NASA gets away with a murder. All right, NASA somehow gets away with be like everyone's really? like, oh NASA, but you know, NASA's dis. Look up, <laughs> look up Arizona <laughs> backgrounds. Do you know who created NASA? No, just, tell uh, me. Just add an I and seven A. Yeah. Ne Nisi. NASA Project was paperclip. so pro after we Eisenhower won World War NASA? Two. No, no, no. After well, yeah, Eisenhower kind of did, but wait, wait. Google, Google background Arizona mountain ridge moon landing. In back in oh, after <laughs> we this won, is getting dangerous. The point of the rundown where uh, Jack and Billy are like, all right, Google this. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that up, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> um. The also why Google duck duck go that? Come on, bro. Yeah. Um. So after we won World War Two. There was, we didn't just like kill all the Nazis. There was some Nazi scientists and other yep, uh, that. that we we essentially took into our government to um, do things, work with us. The latest Indiana Jones movie focuses on that. Yes, and guess who created NASA? Nazis. Nazis. That's Project fucked. Paperclip. That's and then the question is, so if NASA was created by this guy, is it just a Ron pointy Ron. thing? Or like how long, like how far does this go? Like what does that mean about Quiggs? Quiggs, nothing. <laughs> no, Quig. I'm Man. sure NASA does fine things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, now that you told me all this Nazi stuff. I'd get rid of NASA, quick. Sardinary, you're more uh, Space Force guy. <laughs> Space Force over NASA. Sp now, what is the difference? <laughs> <Space Force? laughs> what? Check, checking your phone? What happened? Mid run down. What do you mean, what happened? I'm trying to talk to you. We're on the rundown. Uh, I um, said you're more Space Force than NASA. No, that, aren't they connected? No. Space Force is a military. separate thing. Yeah, Space Force is just to fight the foos. I am not a big fan of NASA at all. Space Force? I don't know. Uh, I, w I actually have a space. I wonder if Space Force will ever have a college football team. Yeah. A bunch of nerds. Like jerseys. Yeah, See for the difference in our thought on that. I'm like, the jerseys would be sick, and Billy's like, nerds. Speaking of well, China, Air Force is a bunch of nerds. Speaking of China, Dr. Lock Fauci, up, Dr. Fauci. Fucking, he just admitted that he was full of shit, and he was Whoa, making what? shit up. Yeah, look this up. He was admitting he was making shit up as he goes along. So the quotes, we should bring up the quotes yeah. to give it a little bit more uh, context. What did Fauci say? Dr. Fauci. So they were like, hey, did was there anything behind the six foot? Uh, like social, social distance. distance. He was like, we were just hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. <laughs> and then, and then, and then he, uh, and then Fauci, they were also like, w did you have any evidence on uh, for uh, masking kids in schools and whatnot? Because that's what lasted the longest. It was like, n there was nothing particularly. And he was like, I never said that. Da -da -da -da. Dude, we should, he needs to live under his own rules till he dies. That, like, that's the only... You want him wearing a mask, point. like, now? Yeah. Wearing a mask right now. No <laughs> one's allowed six feet within him. Well, I no guess more touching. That's his his Lock rule, I guess, wasn't that it should go on forever, right? Like, now, if he's saying, like, ah, I don't know, I fucked up. 
No, but he, maybe then it's like, all right. Also, transmission, up, the whole fucking transmission <laughs> shit, which was like going nuts on Twitter, but the Twitter files showed they suppressed it. I got into a huge fight with certain people about that. They did suppress that. And it's fucking bullshit that they, they've proved. And then also, he just like, he just, he's a liar. He said, I, he, he's like, I never told Donald Trump to shut down the country. I never did. And then like, you go back, there's interviews. He's like, and then I told Donald Trump to shut down the country. <laughs> and that was a very big decision by me. He just, he's, he's a liar. He's like, he's just a liar. I mean, I. A bunch of old he's, men that don't remember what they're saying, that don't know what they're saying. And he also was like, he put himself as the face of science. He was like, so if you dis this is a quote from him. If you disrespect me, you disrespect science. Like, <laughs> what? You're a psycho. What a power trip. Uh, yeah, lock him up. Lock Fauci up. No, just just like put him under lockdown. Just like just lo like he's allowed to be. Sounds in his house. like you just, just rephrased lock. No, him no, up. like like just <laughs> you all said, the no, rules. Not lock him up. Put him under lockdown. Just put him under lockdown. Like not like house arrest, but just like lockdown. Like COVID will always exist. What is lockdown? Like you know you, you can't go to the store. You, you can't be out without necessary like you know. You want him to exist as if we're like yes. week one of COVID. Yes, yes, for the rest of his life. Fair punishment. Yeah. Masked up. I told. The president to shut down the country. <laughs> That's a quote from him. Shut down Fauci's life. But COVID wise. Don't lock him, don't lock him up, lock him down. I do want to, the face of science to tell me where the, the where the virus came from. Probably what the same faces place of that science Newton been over though? the years. Einstein, Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Fauci. And now Terrence Howard. And now Terrence Howard. Yeah. Yep. After show. After show. Subscribe to Audio Crack. Uh, Kelly and Maria announced that they'll be on Surviving Barcelona, which is awesome. Huge I cast. I think they'll be a great cast. Uh, I feel as if the, uh, the cast is at like 30 people now, but maybe some people are like, ah, actually, I can't go anymore. So, uh, and then maybe some other people too. We'll see. Yep. And then uh, I would love to, um, I don't, I would love to see Billy on one of those shows because I think Billy would be really good. I know. I would love to see him on one of those shows with like the Daves and them because you were on Most Dangerous Game Show and you had your classic tent incident where he was pretending to be a bear in the tents. Yeah, that was so. Now weird. imagine him that... doing that in front of like Daves and Big Cat. No, <laughs> and Turks. So I was about to say I would love to see Billy on one of those shows, and it was like, oh, and then I, I was like, and of course, and then I was like, oh no, I'm not going to bring that up. Rico? Like Rico. I tried to scare Tommy in a tent by pretending I was a bear. Yeah. Wrong tent. Wrong tent. Wrong, totally the wrong tent. But imagine wrong tent. wrong tent was Dave and Big Cat's tent. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine that. I think I was set up to go to the wrong tent. It was, it was a they trap. They set you up. It was a trap. Was was a trap. trap. <laughs> but Rico still talks about that. Tent. I was doing like, yeah. in front of a tent, and I thought it was Tommy. And he um, himself. Is there anything else in Barstool world? I guess Pat Bev's betted a million dollars on Roan. Yeah. Pat Bev was on that pod. Pat Bev said he would bet a million dollars Roan versus any battle rapper in the world. Yeah, we got Roan on Gills. Ray. This is wild, man. For me. I love basketball. Yeah, no, he's great. No, we're not. No, he's great. Like he's great. No, he's great. He's literally great. Number. And he rapped. I know. I heard. And I put a million dollars behind and anybody want to freestyle him. Ooh. Right now. Right hey, now. Bird. Let's go. Hey, Bird. Averb? Yeah. Let's line it up. From St. Louis, set it up. Jack. He's gonna be on my pod. Averb? Yeah, so we set that up. Okay, Averb. set it up. Averb Rome. We already know okay. what that yeah. is. Yeah, he's so you time. better than Charlie Clips? Of course. Yeah. I, he big, he big, <laughs> I, I, I was big. Tell him. I was better than this man. I was better than this man. Wait, hold on. You I mean, battle rap is really good? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, going with goods. I'm going with battle rap. I'm going with goods and clips, dog. I'm going with goods and clips. You beat be good. You beat good? Yeah. A million. I put a million. On Gills or ain't a million. Anybody who want about anybody. This is live, so. <laughs> Every new year, here got some fucking cards to spend for I'm a million dollars. On and Rashard McCann. I would match Rashad. it, to be honest. I'm to you would match let, it? Let Pat know I'll match that Millie, and we'll put two Millie, Roan against anyone. And they sort of set up uh, Roan versus Guy Verb, who, if we're being honest, Verb was like a big thing in 2012 and hasn't been a big thing since. So I think whoever tried to set that up against Roan. And then is, is Roan the Caitlin Clark of battle rap? You could say that. You could definitely make a case. Well, what? I think this is going to cause a swarm. No, 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 no. Wouldn't Eminem be it? Yes, like 
Back also, in the day, I'm not Eminem the... doesn't have like as many battles that you yeah, can go he's not watch. A battle... He is a battle like Eminem rapper. was like pre-internet battle rap almost. Not completely, but like I feel like all of Roan's battles you could watch like high quality videos of. Like Roan's a battler, Eminem's a rapper who sometimes battles. But he started as a battler, right? Or am I just eight sure. mile? Is it eight mile? I think made that a little like, yeah. more than. But it yeah. actually was okay. Yeah, he definitely did it. Well, well, Roan would kick his ass too, and I got a milli. Pat Bev's got a milli. Two mil against. I'll do it too. Mil. Now it's three. Three mil. mil against your three mil. Eminem, Marshall Mathers, you're a pussy. Send location. Oh, dude, I can't believe you guys have that much money. I don't it's, know. Uh, you know, we just uh, check out Audio Crack. Chase Winovich. Really interesting conversation. Talk his career and more. Open your third eye. Check it out.